Hey everyone, and welcome back. In this video, I wanted to showcase really quickly how to add your Etsy items to your Instagram business page. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Etsy shop and under settings, you're gonna to wanna to go to options and then you're going to go to download data. Here, you're gonna to wanna to download your currently for sale listings. So go ahead and click that button. Facebook and Instagram are married. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your manage so shop section, excuse me, go to e-commerce manager. Here, we're going to be adding in some new listings. So there is a catalog where you can see all of the different items you have loaded here. So if you want to add an item, you can just hit the button at the very top and hit add item. And this is where our Excel file will come in and we'll upload it this way in just a little bit. Open up this listing here. All right, we can see there is a lot going on. And the problem is there's way too much and this is something that Facebook does not recognize. So there is a lot of information here that we're going to have to get rid of so that it is a little bit more of something that Facebook can understand. So I'm going to get rid of everything aside from the listings that I'm going to be uploading with you guys and then we will make this a little bit more of a digestible piece of information. Okay, so there's two listings that I'm going to be adding to my Facebook slash Instagram shop. And so this is what Etsy spits out. Now, this is what we're going to be changing everything to. So feel free to take a screen grab of this page so that you have the information you need to make something that Facebook will generally understand. So first and foremost, the title is totally fine. It can be whatever you want it to be as well as the description. For price, this needs to be adjusted because currency is not something we actually need that uh, Facebook understands so we're just going to get rid of that and what we're going to do instead is I'm just going to add in my currency here quantity is not something that it understands we're gonna need availability it's that here I don't think it matters in what order we put this in but these I've pretty much deciphered is what we need to do here it is in stock now what you can do is control d will fill in everything to have the same name which is really helpful then we've got conditions information here this is new we've got images so we can get rid of this and this and just hit delete. Naming convention is a little bit different. We have um, image link. So make sure the image that you like the most is sitting here in your first image. Most people, that's how it works anyways. After that, we've got link. So link would be what your item is going to actually be linked to. So you're gonna need your Etsy listing up. First one I have is the mushrooms. We're just gonna highlight all of this and replace that. Next, we have ID. ID is literally the SKU. See, the problem is you can't have the same ID, so either leave it blank or just make something up that you don't think is going to be a problem anywhere else. So I'm just going to, again, make this up because it doesn't really matter for this. Brand, so that would be you the artist or whatever you name your business after this so Google has different numbers for everything I would suggest to actually take a look at what your product item name is considered because it's it's very important I think it makes it easier for Google to know how to list it so just make sure minor stickers so that's why we're doing this um, and it's called Google Product Ch -ch 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 category. 
And then the last thing I have is size. Perfect. Now the rest of these columns we don't need, so you can just go ahead and delete all of them. Just right click and hit delete. Now I'm just going to save this file as is. I missed is availability, which is very important. It will not let you upload this if you do not have availability. I can't believe I missed this. We're going to insert a column, availability. Once you have added in availability, we're going to go to next, use bulk upload, file, drag and drop your file, because that's how it seems to work for me personally. Hit next, go to your currency, upload. I'm just gonna wait and come back to this later and we can see how the upload has gone. As you can see, the two items were added in. There are things that you can add. You can add in additional images, age group, title, like you change the title, gender, color, that will make it more likely that people will find your product. But really this is just so that I can have my items on my Instagram. And as you can see, they're all up here. One thing I will note is downloadable content. Facebook is not okay with that, so don't try to put up downloadable content. But as you can see, if we search, there's the mushroom sticker we added in, and then the Halloween sticker is right here. I hope this was super helpful. If you got this far in the video, put a little pumpkin down below, and I'll showcase now what all of this looks like on the phone. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye!